Every star is creative. Uh, I think everybody's creative. Producers, directors, studios, networks, clients, everybody's creative. But you have to have some common sense of balance, of what is the best way to present the star, to hold the, the audience uh, interest in a show, watching it, accepting it. And of course, you, you have to do it within a budget because you're only as good as your last show, but you're only as good as you cannot do shows that you're going to put you in the poorhouse because you will be out of business. So uh, you, you, you've got to wear a balanced head, uh, it, it hats, and, and everybody has to understand that. Um, and you have to be able to use the technical stuff that's available to you to do that. And uh, so you have to, you talk to the star, you want to know, especially if it's a star-driven special. Uh, and many shows are not that. They're concept-driven shows, where if you're doing Texaco Star Theater on Broadway, well, it's not one star that can tell you. It's, uh, you may have 15 stars. But if it's an Andy Williams special or a Goldie Hawn special, her first and only special that she had, well, did that one. And then it was called Pure Goldie. When you, you must have their input, because you, you, you and with uh, Saul Yelson and uh, Ernie Chambers, they were involved with that one. It was their idea on the Pure Goldie. And but with Goldie, we all collaborated in coming up with how to present this. Not only was it just trickery, but it had to show she was a Vegas dancer, so we had to show that. We had to show the, her cuteness of being able to doing lines, but she was also a very good singer. So we had to balance all of that and to catch people off guard and not just try to shove something at them, but we wanted to have them, we had to build. We, it's like, it's a, when, you protect, when you package a show, you have to have uh, peaks and valleys. So you have to have a high point, then you can slow it down. It's something in the middle, then slow it down, then you go to build it up. You have to have that to hold interest. So not only the number, well, this number might work there, but you build it and so that, that you can hold the attention of the viewer. And all of that is collaboration from my experience, from the star's experience, from the writers. And the so when you work, you're working as a team. And only when you work as a team is a show successful. If one person, if I get on my high horse and say it's going to be my way, it's a disaster. If I, same with the writer, same with the star. It's only successful when you can take everybody's ideas and bounce off of each other and make it a, a unified effort because then it's, it's going to be a hit.